Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in to Sugar Bites, Unique. Hey, so this is just a track I'm working on right now, and I just got the Sugar Bites Unique loaded up, and we're gonna try and experiment with it, see what kind of sounds we got, and uh, yeah, pretty much fool around with the VST and uh, you know see its presets and all that cool stuff. So, um, I have this little lead happening, and I want to replace this with something I like, uh, something that sounds a little more, I don't know, more out there, more loud. That that's pretty loud. I got two things happening at once. I got a that kind of sound happening, then that kind of sound happening, just layered up. So let's see if we can do something like that or something similar. Let's open up Unique, Sugar Bites Unique. Bam, here we go. So this is pretty much uh, the default patch, and we're going to mess around with it to, uh, you know, get something dancey. Right off the jump, you can tell that there are two oscillators, which is good. It gives me more freedom. Got a mixer, got some filters, uh, some effects, and a master, of course. <laughs> The keyboard itself. Um, let's take a look at the presets here. Usually, you know, with Image Line, we have uh, you know presets on the right hand side. So there's a co whole bunch of cool stuff here. And let's see. Let's go through it all. Well, that's pretty cool. That's very gritty. Um, let's just take another quick look. I don't know what's this. interesting all right and it looks like there's presets over here oh boy there's a lot of uh, a lot of categories you can do instruments bass leads let's check out leads because that's what we need that's pretty cool um, pick sequence special effects that's always good for transitions and whatnot you got strings, also have some packs here, I don't know, drive me crazy, that sounds interesting, let's see. That's interesting, there's a lot of, uh, I guess, some sort of LFO or automation or something, some sort of sequence maybe. Uh, oh, we got controls, oh, here we go, so it's off a sequencer, and, oh, that's cool, that's what it's doing. That's pretty cool. Alright, you know what, so how about we start with an empty patch, and, um... We'll just make something. Let's see if we can figure this out and uh, get a really unique sound, <laughs> hence the name, and uh, make a hit song. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Let's see. User, default. Hmm. Trying to see here what the controller is doing. Obviously, it's not doing anything right now, so that's good. Um, let's go get out of here. The first thing that we want to do, uh, especially for those that are new to, you know, creating some new synths, new sounds, um, dealing with synthesizers or whatever, you always want to start off with your oscillators or your operators, whatever the program calls it. And in this case, it's oscillator. So we have a whole bunch, a drop down here. We have sawtooth, we got a triple sawtooth, we got pulse, triple FM, and we also got noise. So that's just static, right? Um, let's see if the second oscillator is the same, and it's the same. That's good. All right. Um, well, let's see. Are they? It sounds like. It sounds like they're both on. Okay, so let's go in our mixer here, and level one, level two. I'm assuming this is two. Let's turn off two. Unless there's an off button somewhere. Nope, there's none. Okay. Now we're dealing with just one oscillator. Uh, it's just easier to hear what we want. All right. So let's see, what do we want? We want something really loud, something really out there. So let's go something triple saw or triple FM. Let's, uh, triple saw sounds okay. So this is changing octaves. Alright, that's cool. It's different from using uh, kind of like this to change octaves. You can hear it. Adds layers, right? You can hear all the different layers on there. I'll just keep it at flat. Zero. We'll do something like that. Let's see. Now there's also release. 
pretty much uh, how long it takes for the song or sorry the sound to decay after I let go of the key so let's make it flat or sorry fast cool and decay let's know decay now there's something happening there let's check our controllers attack no decay and let's see oh it must be our filter here okay good resonance none I just want a flat sound nothing changing so we pretty much start from zero release no release sustain decay no decay there we go mix put it all the way up because this well we could do this too so we hear just the sound and you know what let's just do that it's just easier okay so we found a cool sound hmm all right how about this let's go back to our steps you can see here on image line and we're gonna copy this pattern that I made dump it here just let it play then we can really hear if this sound works. Now I want it to be lazy, so let's use the glide feature here. That sounds like Yoshi. Velocity. Put all the way down so every note is the same. Spread. Oh, not really doing anything. Okay, cool. So we have that. Uh, let's see here. Let's change it to triple FM. Now this is really cool. Let's change our shape. Okay, let's leave it at that. And let's add the second one in here now. Oh, so we gotta fix the envelope again. Decay all the way down. Release all the way down. There we go. Alright, so we're also in pulse. Let's use pulse. giving that really trancey sound. Yeah, I'm digging that sound. Okay, let's compare it to my original. Really bassy, but also has that high-end stuff. But this sounds more like lead now. Let's have no effect. Let's hear the mix. Nah, we'll leave it off then. Yeah, we'll leave it off. And let's put some reverb on here. Whoa, okay. Let's uh, mess around with the high pass. There you go, nice room. Damp it up. Make it really wide. Now let's put back the dryness. That's cool. So now, how about we put this back in the mix, let's see how this sounds, and we'll have a little drop here, so, sounds good. That sounds pretty dope! Anyways, in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys, uh, I guess, the rest of it, LFO, envelope, sequencer, how to make something really more complex, even how to use this motion section. I'm Dan D from Music Marketing TV, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Hey, hey, hey.